Hello everybody, the Chuck and it's 1,000 for choosing. Welcome to you to another Pokemon TCG opening. Uh, you can probably see what's going on in the background there behind my um, TCG um, picture. I obviously am still trying to think of a good way of showing basically this whole thing with nothing else in the background, but like I say, it's hard to record it with the iPad and as well as using these to hold it in place. Which, by the way, I should move these a bit more down th this way. Well, I, th I think that's actually going to be fine. So, obviously, yeah, last time when I did a TCG opening, it was the uh, Rayquaza Elite Trainer Box. Well, I'm going to be opening up two things in one. I'm going to be opening up this, which I think is known to be a booster pack. Which is like which contains three packs of unified minds, which I honestly thought were packs that were not actually meant to be released in the UK just yet, but they have been. It comes with a coin, which I actually really needed, and since I saw this one, I thought I'm getting it right away. And a promo card of Fighter Vault with the ability Stealthy Body and Electric Cannon as a move. And it says, discard all energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 100 more damage or whatever. Or it says you may do it if you want to, but it's entirely up to you. But, I also got a Kangaskhan GX box. I do apologise about not being able to show the whole thing, but as you can see with all the sizes and somewhat in the back, we've got this right here. Approach with extreme caution, Kangaskhan GX. You can pause the video and read that if you want to. Um, but of course, everything's exactly the same with this one. I'm going to be opening up the um, this this one first. I might need to move my um, um, seat a bit closer so that way it's easier for me to do this. Uh, this is actually the back of the pack. Because it shows uh, the Mewtwo and Mew picture, which would normally be seen on the Elite Trainer for Unified Minds. So, there we go. So, here we go. We're going to start it off now. We're going to open this up. Oh. Now, I'm doing this very quickly while my um, family is out of the minute. Uh, my dad's gone to see my... Uh, so his mum, basically my grandma, um, for a quick visit. Um, my brother's at work and so is my mum, but I don't actually know how long they're going to be. Okay. Well, I do apologize about this. Um, I should really be showing this on camera more often, but I never actually do. But anyway, there's the code card. For Unified Minds 3 pack, Fiker Fault. And of course, the Fiker Fault card, which I hope I didn't really bend it too much trying to open this up. And out pops the coin. Here we go. It is, of course, Rowlet, as you can see. So there we go, we'll just put that down there, and here are the packs we got, we got Darkrai with Umbreon, Deoxys with Espeon, and Mew and Mewtwo. There's actually a fourth one, but I don't actually recall which pack design it has. So here we go, and, oh my god. What has happened with my pack openings with these these days? I actually opened them up perfectly when it came to the Glaceon tin, and now... My, um... Ugh. I guess I just don't have the strength in me today. Hang on. There you go. I'll use my teeth instead. I'll hide the um, code card very quickly so you don't see... Anything good or anything bad? There's the card. There we go. And um, I believe with Unified Minds, it's obviously descended one, two, three, four. K 
Okay, guess the energy game. I'm going to say fire. Oh, it's dark. Okay. Right, so dark energy. Arcan. Yan Mega. Ear ringing bell. Oh, I'm going to have to read that one in a bit. Mirkro. Snova. Dratini. With an ability as a basic card. Oh, wow. Uh, Fungus. Honedge. Oh, a reverse hollow poi pole, which is actually very nice, and a Lucario. Not too bad. Right, I'll put the poi pole down there and the Lucario over there. And then the next one, obviously, we're going to see if I can try and open this up. I can see that I'm probably not going to be able to. If you're wondering what's actually happening on the TV, it's basically a rugby match of... England versus Wales, and as you can pretty much tell, I'm from England, and yeah, you can obviously tell I would do anything to support my country. Right then, let's see what I'm going to get. We have got, oh I didn't guess the energy that time, but I probably wouldn't have guessed water, I would have guessed grass. Right, so water energy, Acel, ooh. Interesting. Let's see. Put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Oh, that is a powerful move. I uh, got Dedene. Someone's hungry. Luminion. Looks like it's tanning, but I think it's just relaxing. Cosmog. Salandit. Little Big Planet Gibble. Sewaddle. Look at that doofus, the bee doof. Uh, oh, oh, is that like a reverse hollow again? Looks like it is. It's a giant bomb. This card is attached to one of your Pokemon. Discard it at the end of your opponent's turn. Yeah, all right. We'll put it down there and an Excadrill. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really a massive fan of Excadrill as a Pokemon, but don't. Judge me for saying that because, of course, um, well, like I say, I respect all Pokemon equally. Many of you might think differently to some, but that's entirely your decision, not mine. Because some of you might have a favourite, some of you might not, but... That's just you. Okay, there we go. There's a the code card. Um, I'm going to do like four and two behind because you actually saw um, the sneeze right there. I'm going to take this one out, obviously, because we know that's the energy. I'm going to say fairy. Hey, got one right. Nice. That's a good start. So obviously we saw a sneezel. Magnemite. Slack off, Exu, Fletchender, Blaine's Quiz Show, Orangaroo, Weakness God Energy. I haven't heard this card before. Um, so it provides a basic energy. And the Pokemon this card is attached to has no weakness. Okay. A reverse hollow cower blast and a Levani. Okay, we got a Sawado earlier on, so not to worry about that. But that's all with um, the Fighter Fault pack. So now the Kangaskhan GX box. This is actually my very first time opening up one of these GX boxes. I wanted the Salamence one, to be truthfully honest, but the game store said they had them in the website, but they didn't actually have them in store. And then, by the way, this is the only one they actually had in the game store. Whoops. I accidentally knocked the camera. Ugh. There we go. There you go, fix that. Right. 
Chuck it down there for now. I'll see. I'm going to take everything out. So you see. Up. I say. Um. Just bear with me with this, guys. Oh. Okay, there we go. So there's the Kangaskhan promo. Because it's really good, actually, how it shines like that. And um, for those who are actually curious, yep, yeah, there it is again, but as a jumbo. I don't even know if you actually are allowed to play jumbos in um, Pokemon TCG, but then again, what do I know? So, here we go. We got Unbroken Bonds, XY Evolutions, a Code Card, another Unbroken Bonds, and a Lost Thunder. We are obviously going to be opening these up in order of when they were released. Which means X and Y evolutions comes first. There you go. It's a good thing I got my bin beside me. Okay, there you go. There's the code. Now, there's no guessing energy in this one. So, and I know it's three cards. So, here we go. Ooh, switch. Nice. I was wondering if I was going to get one of them. Um, Marchoke, Full Heal, Fault Orb, Saiyan Shrew, Poliwag, Diglett, a Seal, Reverse Hollow Ghastly. And I actually realised that they're using the same um, picture scheme from the actual trading card game, Game Boy Advance game. That I got on the virtual console on my 3DS. And another electrode. I remember when I drew up a GX electrode. So that's still good regardless. I'm not going to question that much. Okay, next one's going to be Lost Thunder with Sira Aura on the pack. We actually do have a um, Lost Thunder Elite trainer box, but I think it's in a Smith's Toy Superstore. But the closest Smith's Toy Superstore that we have is um, between, well, the closest we have is actually not really in the town that I live in. Because we do have two towns that are right next door, um, Psychic Energy. Dark energy, alright. Uh, we, we do have a Smith's Toy Superstore next door, in well, basically in the next door town to us, but there's basically two next door towns, so yeah. Plus you don't really know which town I live in, because I like to keep it private, actually. Unless, of course, well, you guys, if you guys are curious, you probably don't do it soon time. Anyway, we've got Satu, Bailey. The Dene, Larvitar, Slowpoke, Cupchu, a Lolan Diglett, oops, A, um, there we go, Natu, and Satu. And of course, we've got a reverse hollow Chin Chow and. Okay, I could do with a better reaction, but I was just basically silent there. I was literally gobsmacked. My mouth was literally locked open because I got an Alolan Light Tails! Yes! Oh! No! Here's the thing. I actually don't... I actually don't know if you have to have a loan. I think you do have to have a loan for this because I can see regular Alolan Forbix down there. I don't think it counts for Cantonian Forbids to evolve into Alolan Ninetales, but then again, there you go. Alolan Ninetales GX! Yeah! I wish I left that one last now, but anyway, that's just me. Anyway, 
Opening up the pack behind the camera, jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh god. Struggling to try and get the code card out. But I think you already know what the back of it is. There we go. Right, we'll move all of the not so good cards out of the way. Alright, I'm gonna guess the energy would be lightning energy. Nope, it's fire energy. Okay. Oh, another lay one. Light score. Triple acceleration energy. So this card provides three basic energy only while it's attached to an evolution Pokemon. Whoa. So basically if a Pokemon has been evolved. Okay. I uh, got a Lickitung, a Litten, Krabby, Tangular, Little Big Planet style Oddish, a Reverse Hollow Riolu, and a Silver Aura! Hey, not from the um, Silver Aura pack, it was from Mung Broken Bonds, but that's still really good. Nice! Obviously, it's not as good as Lolan Ninetales GX. Yeah, I know. I tend to brag about it a few times, but that's just me. Because one thing I'm known for being doing is either bragging about certain stuff or moaning about certain things that's been happening in my life, if you kind of get the gist. Ugh, there we go. Final code card of this video. Okay, and the last one, I'm going to guess... We'll guess grass. No dark energy again. Okay. We got Cantonian Graveler. Porygon 2. Martial Arts Dojo. Fenonat. Meow, going to sleep. A Rewind of Geodude and Graveler. Yeah, I don't really sound very enthusiastic, but then again... But, eh! Rewind again, or oh, where's that card? Where, where is that card? Oh, where is it? There it is. There you go! Porygon and Porygon 2, so two rewinds in one pack. Not bad. Froki. Apparently, I don't even know what he's doing. Uh, reverse Hollow Subat. And... Oh, Quagsire tanning at the beach. Okay. Well, there we go. That's all of the packs. Now, excluding, of course, the promo packet fold and the Jumbo Kangaskhan, here are all the cards we picked up. Obviously, the Reverse Wear Subat, Alolan Ninetales GX, Reverse Hollow Riolu, Shin Chow, the promo of Kangaskhan, a first hollow Carablast, Ghastly, Giant Bomb, and Poi And of course we and of course we also pulled up a silver aura. But shame it wasn't so your first hollow or anything, but then again, you can't expect good all the time when you when you pull up packs. But either way. I hope you were happy when you saw the the um, GX Alolan Ninetales because, like I say, I couldn't be any more happy of pulling another GX. But the thing is, last time when we came to opening up TCG, we pulled up two GX um, Scissors. But the only problem is, we don't even have a Scyther. We now have that problem with Alolan Ninetales where I can't use it because I don't have an Alolan Vulpix. And I don't know where you actually get Alolan Vulpix from. But then again, I'm happy to report it nonetheless. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, in, like down below, subscribe, and turn on the uh, little, you know, bell. So you can receive notifications about any other videos I've uploaded in the near future. I'll see you guys next time.